Hello all and welcome to Wayne's Allotment. It's Sunday 20th of December 2015. Uh, I'd like to take this opportunity to wish you all a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year and wherever you decide to grow in 2016 may it grow well and you'll be uh, very happy with it all. Um, I'm down on the plot as you can see uh, and it's also just started to rain so I'm, uh, I think that's called sod's law but I'm determined to show you what's what there isn't really a great deal to show you but I'm with part of my plan well I'll turn you around and show you and see what's what I'll explain as we go along right Plot. There we go, as you can see, all sheeted up. There's muck in, been dug in more or less all of it, apart from this row here. Basically, because I'm going to do carrots and parsnips in here, I will then from here onwards down to somewhere like uh, here. So that's, that's all that. I'm going to grow potatoes. I'm looking at doing Sarpo Mira, uh, Maris Piper I think, and maybe some King Edwards. Um, hope you can hear me ab above this, the rain. Um, and then here, working from the back there, I'm looking at doing some Cobra, French climbing beans, some broad beans and peas. And then with whatever ground is left there then I'm going to look at things like lettuce, beetroot, leeks and so on. But one thing I wanted to show you, um, as you can see I've, I've been filling it as I've been going along. And this is the trench I've made for me cobra. French beans, climbing beans, and there is a good, there's over a spade's depth, let me just uh, get my spade, there's well over spade's depth of manure gone in there, um, there was some spread, uh, sp scattered onto the top and dug in, and then as an af and it was all covered, and then as an afterthought, I thought, right, let's do a trench. I can remember my dad doing it years ago when we used to grow in the, grow beans in the garden. Then it was all runner beans. And he always used to do a trench like this and he used to empty the compost heap into the, into the, the trench. And I thought to myself, I'll do that for these beans. And as you can see, I've marked where it is with some canes and I've done the same up that end um, so this I've just got to to backfill as you can see there's a lot of water you can see it lying here it's uh, to say it's been wet is you know uh, a bit of an understatement it's been absolutely hammering it down at times I mean I'm wondering whether to turn this into a swimming pool um, sprouts we've been having some of those and got plenty with today being the 20th I'm looking at Christmas Eve coming down and taking two or three of these stalks back home to have um, with our Christmas dinner um, let me just show you the everything else that's going on as you can see I've mulched round my rhubarb um, I've trimmed up some of the gooseberry bushes that are there cut some of them back a little just to open up the middle mainly uh, and everything's going going quite well I can't moan at all um, let me just take you a walk up to the other plot while I'm on I hope you can hear me above uh, the wind and whatever it's just eased off with the rain a little um, right, so I'll take you up to the other 
the other plot you can have a look at what's uh, what's occurring up here and there are a lot just like down there um, I had I think it was two tonne of manure delivered uh, and I had it tipped up on this plot because uh, the thinking behind it was at least coming down here it would be easier than trying to push a barrel load of manure up here I know it's only a slight slope but after uh, uh, pushing several barrel loads and then this morning I've put I think that was the seventh barrel load of manure that's just gone into that trench alone so uh, hope you can hear me above this wind um, right so like I say pushing it down is a bit easier than pushing it uphill um, so here we are everybody's plots all looking very much the same this time of year um, there's me manure and as you can see I've mulched round me rhubarb and me gooseberry bushes here these are all covered up and I've been for a while um, strawberries are in they just need a light hoeing around them really to get some of the weed out uh, aquadulch not doing too bad I'm quite pleased with them there's one or two that have dropped by the wayside but can't moan raspberry canes there's about uh, three I think there's four of them that are sprouting at the moment um, I must say the weather being as mild as it is we've got um, bluebells in the garden at home and they've started coming up started to some broccoli as you can see this is this is what's left from the first cut I think you can see there you go nice head there one or two they'll be cut Christmas Eve so we have them fresh um, cabbages there's been things in at these but I've checked these out and there's quite a few these quite firm heads on those uh, onions and leeks doing very nicely leeks seem to have perked up a little now cauliflower over there they're uh, they're not hearting up yet but coming along nice this has all been covered all mucked and covered that's gonna have all the sweet corn in it again next year a um, few leeks coming nicely onions garlic and a few parsnips which will probably be lifted for Christmas Day flower sprouts now as you can see I'm assuming they're ready I don't know I've never grown them before but again Christmas Day they will be lifted um, broccoli is uh, not broccoli there's the wife waving at me look that's how close we live to this plot say hello you're on YouTube Um, it's thrown me off the scent that has uh, kale Swiss kale Swiss kale Swiss chard so yeah I said it had thrown me off the scent you know what it's like when the boss is about um, but there we have it that's basically it I can't really say um, say a great more really um, very happy with what I've grown the only disappointment I've had this year has been with um, my leeks really they got uh, allium fly in and uh, they uh, they were the only real disappointment but everything else I'm quite pleased with um, so with that I'll leave you to it uh, I'll again wish you all a Merry Christmas 
and happy new year and thank you very much all those that have subscribed I've not yet uh, had my uh, YouTube channel for a year and I think I'm up to 38 I think subscribers I've had over 1500 hits on the uh, or views on the um, on my site so thank you all very much I mean I'm mainly doing this as you've probably noticed none of these videos are edited or anything they're just recorded uploaded to YouTube wham bam thank you ma'am and that's basically because they're just a record of uh, where I'm growing throughout the year so that I can always look back and see when I planted certain things and so on um, so a bit like a sort of animated uh, calendar you could say really I suppose but any road I'm starting to waffle again so with that I'll leave you to it it's TTFN everybody have a good year and I'll see you in the next video to ride a bit